Hey guys, so uh, this is the uh, website, the uh, online store we are going to build today on our smartphone. Okay, let's get started. Hey, uh, what's up everybody? My name is D. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channels and today I want to show you guys how to create a website on your smartphone. Now uh, before we start, I want to show you guys the website we are going to build. This is uh, the view uh, of the website on the laptop. Now uh, this uh, website right here is fantastic, not only because uh, of the look of it, but because of the uh, practicality of it. Basically it's uh, built for you to start selling fast and uh, quick. Now um, uh, you can come to uh, millennialwebsite.com to uh, check out the uh, template. All you have to do is just hit the millennialwebsite.com and then you hit on the uh, build website. And over here you can uh, browse the uh, available templates. Uh, this one right here is a uh, record. Um, you can uh, click on it to uh, browse. Basically, uh, this is uh, the exact website you are going to install after you sign up. Uh, once you're done, you can hit on the uh, use this template to install the website. But uh, in our case, we are going to use uh, our smartphone. Now right here, I have the uh, Samsung Note 8. Okay guys, to install the website first, we need to look for the URL on your phone. And now you can use any browser or any phone you want. In my case, I'm going to use the uh, Samsung Note 8. Okay, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. Then I'm going to look for the URL millennialwebsite.com. Then hit search. It will uh, open up uh, the site. And then uh, all you have to do is just uh, hit on the uh, build website. Okay. Over here is the uh, available templates uh, we have. Uh, you can choose the uh, records, which is the, the uh, template I showed you earlier. All you have to do is just hit on uh, select. Okay, now we are going to choose the uh, plan for your website. Uh, you can choose the uh, e-commerce starters, uh, which give you uh, uh, all the uh, necessary uh, plugins and uh, options uh, to start your online store. But in my case, I'm going to use the uh, dropshipping ready because uh, this one offer a free premium uh, domain name, SSL certificates, and all the pros uh, plugins. Okay, I hit select plan. Then I'm going to uh, choose the uh, custom domain name. But because uh, this is only a demo, I'm just gonna hit uh, skip the steps. Now we are going to enter the uh, site titles. Um, I'm gonna enter uh, my online store. Now the uh, URL, I'm going to choose uh, online, uh, no capital, okay? Uh, okay, online store. I'm gonna look uh, to see if this uh, URL is uh, available. Uh, as you can see right here, this is uh, going to be your uh, URL and uh, your customer can look you up uh, by that uh, domain name. Okay, hit uh, continue to the next steps. So uh, this site is already, I'm going to choose uh, online store one. Then uh, as you can see down here, it's a uh, millennialwebsite.com slash online store one. Okay, hit uh, continue to the next step where we are going to uh, uh, choose a username for our site. Uh, we are going to use this uh, username to uh, log into our site. Okay, so uh, when you're done, enter the uh, information for your account. All you have to do now is just hit on the I agree with the term of service and then uh, hit uh, create account. Uh, all you have to do now is just hit on the activate website with a Visa or MasterCard. Now, um, you are going to use uh, Stripe because uh, Stripe uh, offer a pretty uh, secure payment uh, gateway. So I'm going to use this as a default uh, payment uh, method. Now, uh, all you have to do now is just enter all the uh, uh, cards information and your billing address. Then uh, when you're done, all you have to do is just hit uh, subscribe. Then uh, it will take you to the uh, dashboard of the website. All right guys, now that we um, activate the website, uh, we are currently in the uh, dashboard of our website. Hey guys, just a, a quick pause. Did you guys see how easy it is to create the website even on the smartphone? Well, 
If you want to learn how to build the uh, web hosting business, please uh, check out my course in the descriptions. In that course, I will show you guys all the technical how to create the web hosting business like uh, millennialwebsite.com. Uh, if you're an agency and you don't have the time to uh, build the network yourself, uh, you can contact me. I'll set it up for you guys very quick and affordable. So uh, here we have a lot of uh, pop-ups. All we have to do is just hit these um, hide for me. Okay, or we can hit the uh, screen options and hide the one that uh, you don't want to see. Okay, uh, let's uh, check out the uh, front end of the website. Visit site. Uh, it should be the same site that uh, we choose uh, earlier. Uh, as you can see right here, this is uh, the uh, website. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, try to add a new product on uh, our website. Now this uh, theme right here is very dynamic. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, when we add a new product, uh, they should put up on the uh, front end of the website. Okay, let's uh, hit on this uh, plus button right here. Then we are going to choose uh, products. Now we are going to enter a uh, title for our product. Okay, we are going to enter the description. This product is great. Something like that. We are going to uh, choose a uh, brand. Mm, let's say uh, this is a uh, uh, Samsung or we can choose the uh, product categories. Okay, uh, we scroll down, we can enter the uh, price. Um, let's say it's uh, $50 and when we can s put it on sale for $30. And then uh, we scroll down. Uh, we are going to look for the uh, product short description. So this product is awesome. Okay, so we can scroll up and we can even add a product image. So let's do it. Select a product image. Okay, now we can browse our media library or we can even upload the product image from our phone. But in this case, I'm going to use the media library to choose this product right here then select product then I'm going to uh, publish this uh, product now uh, if you uh, go back and check on the uh, front end of the uh, website uh, this product should uh, pop up uh, on the uh, front end there you go my first product as you can see right here we can click on it and uh, user can uh, come here and uh, purchase products by uh, going through the uh, process of uh, adding it to cards and uh, you know uh, view the cards and uh, check out but uh, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, all the settings for WooCommerce so you guys can uh, add the uh, payment uh, gateway for your online store okay so uh, once you are in the uh, dashboard all you have to do is just hit on the uh, hamburger button right here and then we are going to choose uh, WooCommerce and uh, we are going to choose uh, settings. We are going to uh, go to uh, payment right here. Okay, now all we have to do is just uh, uh, choose. Uh, if you have PayPal, all you have to do is just hit on the uh, PayPal right here. You can uh, click on it to uh, go to the uh, PayPal itself and then you enter all the uh, information for it. If you don't see the uh, Stripe payment gateway, all you have to do is just uh, go to uh, plugins then uh, we are going to look for the uh, plugin uh, Stripe Payment Gateway for WooCommerce. Okay, WooCommerce Stripe Gateway. Hit activate. Then uh, when we uh, go back to uh, WooCommerce settings, and then uh, hit on uh, Payment. Uh, the uh, Stripe uh, Payment Gateway should be here. So we can uh, click on it and uh, start uh, set up our account. Okay, let's uh, go back to uh, the uh, front end of the website. Let's say you want to uh, make uh, custom changes uh, to the uh, front end of the website. Uh, you can do it uh, with uh, Elementor. Uh, now, Elementor is a uh, drag and drop uh, plugin, a page builder uh, that we can easily uh, make changes to the website, uh, even on our phone. 
Now, uh, to do that, uh, all we have to do is just hit on the three button right here. And then we are going to choose the uh, desktop site. Okay. Now we are going to hit on the uh, edit page right here. Okay, so uh, when we are here, we are going to hit on the uh, edit with Elementors. Now I've been building website for a long time and uh, sometimes when I travel, I might not want to bring my laptop with me. So I just bring my uh, smartphone and I was able to uh, make a lot of uh, changes and custom to my websites um, using my smartphone. Now this is not the best way to uh, uh, design any website, but it's possible to design any website. So once we are here, uh, we can uh, scroll uh, to see uh, our site, just like that. Uh, you can even hit on the text if you want to change the uh, text. Uh, all you have to do is just hit on it. And then as you uh, can see on uh, your left side, uh, there are elementors. Uh, uh, edit sections that you can uh, make changes to it. So I'm going to change the um, uh, descriptions uh, of this box right here. Uh, hello, it's me. Okay, that's back. And as you can see right over here, uh, the hello just uh, popped up right there. Okay, when you're done, all you have to do is just hit the uh, updates. Now it's just uh, some uh, simple stuff, but if you want to change like um, the uh, background image of a uh, section, you can do that also. Let's say if you want to change this uh, section right here, all you have to do is just hit on this uh, uh, button right here, then uh, hit uh, edit sections. And as you can see, uh, on uh, the left side, we can uh, change uh, the contents with we can change the uh, style of the site. Uh, we can change the advanced settings like the uh, paddings and the margins and uh, a lot more options down here. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go too deep into uh, this. I just want to uh, show you guys that it's possible to uh, create a website on the uh, smartphone and uh, to, um, to get better at anything. We have to put our time into it and we have to uh, have a little bit of passion to uh, be able to do this. Uh, but if you already have a store and uh, you want to have an online store, you need some help, please uh, contact me. I'll be uh, more than happy to uh, help you out. And uh, if you want to learn uh, how to build the uh, web hosting business uh, like the one we uh, did earlier with Millennial websites, uh, we host uh, WordPress websites. But if you want to learn how to build a web hosting business like a millennial websites, uh, please uh, check out my course. There are some uh, courses that come with the uh, lifetime license that um, you can use to build uh, the web hosting business. And if you have any questions, just uh, contact me. Uh, all right. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. And yeah, if you uh, like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're not already uh, subscribed to my channels, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.